As a lot of you know, and maybe some of you don't, this is very timely for Chris and I to have you here tonight to, to uh, celebrate marriage and work on marriage. Uh, we got engaged two weeks ago on New Year's Eve. <laughs> dedicated to the work already, there's this wonderful personal layer and a, and a real sense of urgency. Um, you know, one of the questions that I get most often when I talk about Freedom to Marry's work and when I talk about marriage is, isn't this just inevitable? Isn't this just a matter of time and generations? Isn't this going to sort of happen on its own? Just wait. Why do you work on this all the time? Marriage is coming. And I think there's two really important responses to that inevitability question. The first is that the difference between winning the Freedom to Marry nationwide in five years versus 25 years or 30 years is tremendous. Every year that goes by, same-sex couples and their families are harmed in tangible ways every single year when they try to protect their families, when they turn to their children and have to explain to them why they can't get married like everyone else, um, and when they uh, look for the same fairness and the same respect that every other, every other couple gets. But equally important, every year that goes by when we don't have marriage is a year in which young LGBT Americans come of age in a society that tells them, you're not equal, you can't grow up to marry the person you love, you don't deserve the same respect and the same fairness and the same treatment as everyone else. And we see the effects of that every year. We see with the suicides, we see with the bullying, that there are real impacts of not having full inclusion and full respect under the law. And marriage equality is that full inclusion and is that full respect under the law. And, thank you. and the, the second response to that inevitability question is that our opposition is not going away. The countergroup to Freedom to Marry is called the National Organization for Marriage. In 2010, they spent more than $10 million fighting us in every single state. And they're the tip of the iceberg. There are tens of millions of dollars spent every year fighting against us, fighting against marriage. And in many cases, we are outspent and we are outorganized. And we need to fix that. It is not inevitable. It's inevitable if we work for it. It's inevitable if you help fund it, if you help call your lawmakers, if you get involved. It's only going to happen if all of us raise up and participate. And being here tonight is an important step. And I hope it's the first step. I hope you guys will stay engaged with our work uh, and the work in New York and the work nationwide. So thank you very much.